Even with the looming threat of a trade war, tech is the top performing sector so far this year. Here's what else to watch for in the rest of 2019. First, new iPhones. Tim Cook tells CNBC that the iPhone XR has consistently been his top seller, which is the least expensive of the phones launched last fall. And that means this fall, when Cook introduces his new lineup, he might focus more on mid-tier phones with new features, capabilities, and marketing dollars. Two, Jedi. The U.S. Department of Defense is deciding which company will win a big cloud computing contract known as Jedi, worth up to $10 billion. The winner could be announced as soon as August. Amazon and Microsoft are in the running. The winner could use the deal as a selling point, convincing companies in other data-sensitive industries, from finance to healthcare, to entrust it with their information, too. Three, regulation. State, federal, and international regulators all have tech in their sights, including Alphabet's Google and Apple, Amazon and Facebook. And that means there's little likelihood of approval for any big acquisitions. That could be a challenge as these companies hunt for growth and one their Chinese rivals don't face. In fact, we just found out that the UK's competition regulator is reviewing Amazon's recent investment in Deliveroo. So these tech giants continuing to feel that pressure on both sides of the Atlantic. Kelly, back to you. And Josh, we're also learning a little bit more about Johnny Ive's successor at Apple, right? Yeah, so there was a good piece on Jeff Williams uh, in the journal, Kelly. You know, I've interviewed Jeff Williams for this network. Like Tim Cook, uh, he is a true tested Apple veteran. He also, like Cook, is experienced as an operations guy, and he is taking on more responsibility in product design, too. Um, the watch has been his baby for years, and, of course, we learned that when Johnny Ive stepped down, two design vets are going to now be reporting to Jeff Williams. I think that's interesting in part, Kelly, because we've heard this, um, these reports, this talk, that at Apple, um, they're now focus more on operations than product design. Of course, you saw Tim Cook come out and rebut those reports. But maybe when you think about Jeff Williams, um, it's not so much that one is superseding the other. Is it possible that just operations and design, um, maybe they work more closely together, more hand-in-hand <laughs> -hand together than in before? Because Apple today is just a very different company. It's so much bigger. It's so much broader, selling hundreds of millions of products. Maybe the ascension of Jeff Williams kind of speaks to that trend, Kelly. That's